नेक्स्ट डिवीजन टॉपिक इज डायोड सर्किट्स विच आर बेस्ड ऑन पीएन जंक्शन डायोड्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग इन डायोड सर्किट वी शुड नो अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डायोड्स व्हेन इट इज बीइंग यूज्ड एज एन आइडियल और बीइंग यूज्ड एज अ प्रैक्टिकल डायोड सो फॉर आइडियल केस व्हेन इट इज इन फॉरवर्ड बैस इट विल बी एक्टिंग एज अ शॉर्ट सर्किट फॉर रिवर्स बैस इट विल बी एक्टिंग एज ओपन सर्किट वन फॉर प्रैक्टिकल केस द ड्रॉप अक्रॉस डायोड विल बी इक्वल टू द कटिंग वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द डायोड सो इफ यू आर टेकिंग सिलिकॉन डायोड so the drop across diode will be of 0.7 volt and for germanium case the drop across the diode will be of 0.3 volts for reverse bias again it will be in open conditional situation so those who are not aware about the biasing of pn junction diode so if we are having pn junction diode and if we are applying positive supply with p side and negative supply with n side so it is known as forward bias condition and if we are applying negative with p side and positive with n side it is known as reverse bias condition so before starting any diode circuit first check whether diode is in forward bias or or it is in reverse bias condition so there is one example here we are having one diode of silicon so if we assume that it is in practical condition so the supply voltage is plus 5 volt in this case it is clear that the diode is in reverse bias condition it is in reverse bias so for reverse bias condition diode will be acting as an open circuit here so we can remove the diode so now if we have to find out the amount of current flowing through this load resistance or if we have to find out the voltage drop across this 10 volt so we can simply apply the voltage division so if we have to find out voltage across this 10 ohm resistance so the total applied voltage is 5 volt into 10 divided by total value of resistance that is 5 plus 10 it will be 50 by 15 that will be your total value of voltage drop across 10 volt next if we are also using the kvl so you can also use kvl here to find out the voltage drop across 10 volt so the value of current will be equals to 5 divided by 15 and next if you have to find out v across 10 volt it will be simply again 5 by 15 into the resistance current into resistance that will be equals to the voltage value again it will be 50 by 15 so here we can easily calculate the voltage drop across this resistance so similarly voltage drop across this resistance can be obtained by using the value of current here now if the diode condition is reverse suppose we are changing the diode condition so here we are taking diode as forward bias condition so for forward bias condition we can assume that the diode is acting as a non condition if it is practical diode it will be having a voltage drop of 0.7 across it so if we assume that this diode is in on condition and the drop across diode is 0.7 volt so we can say that so now the voltage drop across 10 ohm resistance is 0.7 volt because this diode is in parallel with this resistance so if we have to find out the current across 10 ohm it will be simply 0.7 divided by 10 in amperes so first we have to check the condition of diode whether it is in forward or reverse bias so second case if we have to find out the total current flowing through this circuit so this diode is having drop of 0.7 the supplied voltage is 5 volt so the drop across 5 ohm resistance it will be simply equals to 5 minus 0.7 it will be simply equals to 4.3 volt so if we have to find out the current value it will be simply 4 by 3 point divided by 5 in amperes now take another example if we are having two silicon diodes and both are having same properties regarding their reverse saturation current and other things so if the applied voltage is 10 volt and we are having one resistance r both are silicon diode and it is given that the cutting voltage is 0.7 for both the diodes so if you have to find out the drop across this resistance r it will be simply equals to 10 minus 0.7 minus 0.7 it will be simply equals to 8.6 volt and if you have to find out the value of current flowing through resistance ir it will be equals to 8.6 divided by r value in ampere now this, if someone is asking that what will be the value of current flowing through diode d1 or id2 so see it is in series so both the currents flowing through diode is also equals to the same current as ir so since the ir is a single current which is flowing in this loop 
we can say that the diode current is also equals to the current across resistance. 